Good morning everybody and welcome to another video with me, FN Lou. The sun is shining, well it's just got a bit darker but the sun is shining, I, I do promise. It's my day off uh, and today we are going to do a personal review of my experience after about a week of having them on the car. Um, a review of the new tyres that we've got on there, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Isometric 3s. Before we do that though, I've just got a couple errands to run, so I start by getting out my gym jams and into my comfies. Oh, that's better. I have shaved the like the peach fuzz a little bit as well, not that you can tell from the previous bit of the video. But uh, that's what you get for not hitting puberty yet at the age of 23. Oh, right, first drop off birthday card. Right, next stop, Halford. Don't you just love a good reflection shot? Oh. Okay guys, being done in there, I always spend too much time looking at all the different detail and stuff and he gives me a bit of edit, look at different things like should I get this done? Do I need to use that before that? Oh, it's a minefield. But I went in for what I needed. And what I needed, well, what I feel like I need. I got some Simon Eyes Wax Free Shampoo. Now, I do have the one that has wax in it. Um, and I'm not going to lie, even though it's, it's cheaper, this stuff, it, it does work really well. The wax, the one with wax in it does anyway. But I've got wax free so that when I'm doing the, using like the clay mitt and things like that, I want to make sure there's no wax or protection on the car at that point so that I can make sure that I can so, so that I can get to all the crap and get all the crap off basically and I've also got another bucket uh, because I don't I don't have a grit guard in the buckets but I need to switch to that two bucket method to eliminate scratches so plus they're only a quid so winner winner right next up food shopping Baby. Sorry you guys gonna have to wait in here. Right then everyone, everything's done now. We are back in the car. Shopping is in the boot, so I'm not gonna be too treacherous, especially now since the sun's gone in and the rain has come. Which surprisingly is one of the uh, the main big surprises about these tyres in the first place and what I've heard from everybody else as well is that how well they actually perform in the wet. Now I've had the tyres on for about a week or so, yeah well practically exactly a week um, and I have to say it, it, you can definitely definitely feel a difference. The two main things I've felt a difference with myself, one overall traction when it comes to acceleration especially in the wet it great it picks up it just digs in it's just so much better so much better going from potenzas over to the uh, eagle f1 isometric threes i think i think what a part that played in it was how low my tread was on the front i've got to take that into consideration but i mean even from having the car when i first got it when it had decent tread on it it, it, it grips so much better so much better uh, you can definitely feel that the compound is just of much better quality and, and it's slightly softer I'd say, I have to say slightly softer. Which as well leads on to the second big thing is round cornering. I mean, if you already have one of these cars or some other car that's got some, some kind of performance to it, you'll have some kind of, especially with more, more, more modern cars, you'll have some kind of stability control or and something of that nature but under a different name. Now this has VSA which is I'm guessing vehicle stability control or vehicle stability assistance assist I don't know something like that but I've never been I don't feel like I've been in a situation where I've noticed the car using that because the wheels are just spin up or I'll understeer the car really used to understeer really badly. Now I've been around corners and my foot's been pretty much far down accelerating and I can feel the car feathering my throttle for me to make sure I've got the maximum amount of grip coming out of the corner. Which I've never ever noticed that before. So for the car to have to sort that out for me, 
he, he must know that it's, it, it's a higher capability on the road for it to have to think about it. Turning back from the capabilities though, I would say that the, it sounds a bit silly, but I'm, I'm sure I can feel that the ride is nicer. It is, it is definitely nicer. That could be as well to do with having a bit more tread on it, but it's quieter as well. And one of the things I noticed on, on the, like the sticker and everything that comes with, that always comes on the printed on the tires, it's a very low decibel tire, which I could definitely tell, day to day definitely tell, especially on like really horrific roads. Um, it just copes so much better. So all in all guys, all I can do is praise these. They are, it's completely changed the characteristics of the car, completely changed it. The handling is so much better. Up to the point of obviously where you could probably prove that using things like uh, low in springs or, or coilovers or things like that, something adjustable. I'm still getting used to the fact that I've, I've got extra handling performance now compared to what I did before. It's yeah, it's just it's just a huge difference. I can't I can't stress to you enough how much better rubber on all four corners changes a car and how much rubbish stuff ruins it. It really does ruin. I mean, I'd love to be in a track situation where I've got the VSA off and I can really like feel what what the limits of the car is basically and what it's more capable of in my own control. But in this kind of wet weather, especially when we've been having snow and slush and everything in the minute, I think I'll leave it on for normal day to day driving. Anyway guys, <laughs> I am gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like the videos, please click a like so that other people that are like-minded like you that like this kind of video will find this video. Um, it really does help spread a video around YouTube when you do leave a like. So I really, really would appreciate that. If you wanna see any more coming, please subscribe and please click the little bell button so that it lets you know when a fresh video comes up that I've uploaded. And until next time guys, like I always say, Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. So I hope this has helped you out, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're joking. This guy in the Seat Leon FR, right, has come all the way down next to me and basically asked if he can go in front of me. What a head. I'm sorry for swearing. He knew exactly which way we were going. I didn't even notice him because I was literally at the junction then. Literally at the junction and he has to go in front of me. What a douche. Why didn't you break then? You didn't even... No, I'm, not, I'm not playing games. I've got a shopping in, boo. You know what I'm saying?